So my sister has this business. I'm going to put air quotes around it because it's this service that she does for free for her friends and neighbors. And I'm hoping she does it for Jack in three years. But basically, she's an expert at helping kids get into college with the research and understanding everything that's possible for them and understanding how to do it in a way that's on their path, not a cookie cutter way. It's an amazing service that she does. And so she and I were playing around because I was like, this could be a business. This should be a business. We should be, you should be charging money for this amazing thing that you do. And she's like, yeah, but I hate marketing. And I hear that a lot from people. I don't want to market myself. And I was like, well, marketing's my jam. I like marketing. I like creating content. So we kind of spent you know, like a day plotting and planning and imagining what it would be like to work together. And then I just had this kind of epiphany hit me that, you know, I have spent so many years understanding my audience and getting into the content creation lane of my audience and really understanding everything about my audience that to learn a new audience takes a lot of time. Now, I already know this. And to learn a new audience, it does take time. It does take energy. And actually, I have a tool I will put in the comments for you afterwards so you can know your audience even better. But I, it just occurred to me that knowing your audience is an incredibly deep dive, like putting on scuba gear, deep dive. And we, we get taught this kind of BS about knowing our audience, like know their age, know where they like to do yoga, know what they like to do on a Sunday afternoon. It's all this bullshit surfacey demographic stuff, but it doesn't actually help us understand our audiences. Now, but after I was thinking about like, oh my God, she actually has two audiences, right? Because she has to speak to parents and she has to speak to the kids too. And that's a double prong. So it's there's a lot to know there. So I wanted to come on today and talk about how do you get to know your audience really, really deeply? And how do you do it in a way in 2022? Because you might be, you might have done this work before, but in 2022, your audience is different. Like you can't be using 2020 or 2019 information to try to connect with your audience today. Things have shifted for your audience. So I'm going to ask you three things to help you know your audience more deeply and make marketing a hell of a lot easier for you. So the first thing that you want to make sure you know about your audience is who exactly is that right person in your audience? Again, I am not talking about demographics. The first thing you want to do to know your audience really well is know whose butts are in the seats. And so I'm asking you to think about how you would describe the people in your audience, not, you know, um, new moms age 28 to 37 who work from home. I don't mean that. I mean, how would you describe these people, the problem that they're having, the solution that they're looking for, the experience? that they are having, how they're showing up in the world, the qualities of them. This is a lot harder than people think it is. And they kind of gloss over like, oh yeah, I just serve, I just serve new moms who want to lose weight. That is not going to be a demographic that you can create content easily for and have it land with your audience. So that's the first thing. Who is the exact right person in your audience in terms of a descriptor so that you can start to create messaging for that person and market to them so that they're like, oh my God, she's holding up a mirror to me. She totally gets me. She's describing me. She knows me. Secondly, in order to make marketing easier and really deeply know your audience, what are the words they are using to describe their problem? Now, these are not the words that you're probably using because you might be using jargon or industry language. In fact, the other day I was talking to a coach and she was using all coach language from her training because she's surrounded by coaches all the time. This is what happens to us when we're experts. We get into our container, we're surrounded by people just like us, and we forget that the people who are outside of our container don't speak our language. So what are the words that you can connect with with your audience that are not your words, but are their words? The solutions that they are looking for, not the solutions that you want to give them or you're telling them what they need. What do they want? So that is the second thing you want to do to make sure that your audience is dialed in to exactly who you need to be speaking to. The third thing that will make marketing easier and will make your audience connect more with you is to understand why having a solution matters to them. If you're not talking about the ripple effects of why this is going to be better for them, then it's something that is missing in your content. For example, I could say, oh, like make your content creation easier. But why? Why does it matter to make your content creation easier? 
It matters because if you don't do content, you're not doing your marketing, you're not connecting with the outside world and people don't know you have a business. Marketing is a necessity, however you wanna do it, but you do have to do it. You get to do it in your way, but it does need to get done. The ripple effect is when you market your business, you grow your business, you make more money, you have more time, you have more energy to do the things you love doing, you have more freedom. All of those things matter to my people. What matters to your people? Why do they want their solution or their problem solved? Why is your solution important? Until you start talking about that in your content, then it's just going to kind of land flat or just lay there. Those are the three things that most people are not doing when it comes to making marketing easier and putting out content that their audience can actually connect with. What might you be doing? You might be putting out how-to content or um, you know, content that speaks a different language than what your audience speaks. But I want you to think about how can I make marketing easier by knowing my audience so deeply that my words constantly resonate with them and mirror back to them what they need to hear and believe in themselves so they can get the solution that they're looking for. Now, how do you do this? I've actually got um, a, a, I've, I've got a whole thing for you. It's a whole guide. It's got steps all the way through, step by step, and it has a training for you. It's, it's just a freebie that I have, and it is a game changer. It's what I make all of my clients do before we get started, because mostly I meet people and they don't know who their audience is. It's not just you, I promise. So I'm going to put that below, but I want you to start thinking about how can I know my audience deep, deeper? This is job one. If you've even been in business for five, seven, 10 years, and you're still not getting traction, I, I encourage you to go back and talk to your audience, especially in a 2022 situation when we might still be using research we did in 2020 or 2019. I hope this was helpful. Let me know your questions about your audience. I'm happy to help you if you just tag me. Bye.